to Concord now, folks, if you have any ideas out there for what sort of cultural flavor you'd like to see around the city. Sounds like city leaders want to know. And we know a lot of big cities have great character thanks to things like murals and statues and other art installations. And so, as we mentioned, leaders in Concord would like to know what you'd like to see in the city's art master plan. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Lashner shares how you can weigh in. Concord is rapidly growing. It's now the second largest city in the Charlotte region. City officials are hoping to bring more art like this to the area to help build on the city's sense of identity. The heart of Concord has a lot of small town charm with sites that will stop you in your tracks. All those experiences we have in our city end up forming our sense of why we want to be here. City officials hoping to build on that sense of community and belonging through art. They're developing a public art master plan, a blueprint for the types of art that can be brought to the area in the next five years. Art has the capacity to bridge the divides between us. People can say, oh, this is who we are. This pulls us together, this unites us. City Councilman Andy Langford is the chair of the city's Public Art Advisory Committee. He says the city hired a consultant and right now are in the listening phase, hoping the people who live and work in Concord will share their thoughts before any decisions are made. It's a huge universe of possibilities. All meant to enhance the city and reflect the values of the people who call Concord home. As you uh, have art in your environment, it can reflect back to you your own sense of what you think is important. It can give you new ideas about what's possible. Um, it can have all sorts of effects on people. They're hoping to get more input from the people who live here so that community survey is open for another month. We have a link to it on our website, WCNC.com. In Concord, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.